Calculating horsepower using the work energy theorem. The work energy theorem states that the work done on an object equals the change in energy. We will change kinetic energy of a car by racing it from rest to 60 miles per hour. The change in kinetic energy will then be equal to the work done on the car. Our speedometer reads miles per hour, but we will use meters per second. Our starting speed in the race is 0 meters per second, and our ending speed is 60 miles per hour, or 26.4 meters per second. Looking at the technical specifications of a truck located on the inside of the driver's door, we find the weight of the truck is 4,220 pounds. This is 1,914 kilograms. So we know mass, original velocity, and final velocity, and we can plug those values into our equation for kinetic energy. After we calculate the kinetic energy, we know that since the change in kinetic energy is 666,990 joules, that the work done on the truck is equal to 666,990 joules. Power is equal to work over time, so we will need a time for the car to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Our 0 to 60 time is 5.09 seconds. We now know the work done and the time. We can plug those numbers into our equation for power, which is work divided by time, and we get the power to be 131,039 watts. There are 746 watts in a horsepower, so the horsepower of the truck is 176 horsepower.